A man pulls the trigger and kills his neighbor. He tells deputies that the neighbor pulled a knife on his brother. It happened overnight at a home on Floyd Circle in Volusia County. West 2's Claire Metz has the latest on the investigation. Deputies say the man who lives here, 36 year old Elvis Valentin, was yelling at his next door neighbor about the neighbor driving on his front lawn and confronted the neighbor with a knife. Investigators say the neighbor's brother, who also lives here, came outside and allegedly brought a gun. Shock. Selenia Martinez is the dead man's sister in law, and though she says Elvis Valentin has been in trouble before, he was a changed man after losing his wife to illness three months ago, the sole caregiver for the couple's four year old daughter. I just want to get down to the truth of what really did happen. I don't want him to be blamed for something that he didn't do. The scene was chaotic last night. Deputies say John and Nestor Ramos told them Valentin started coming at John Ramos with a knife. But Nestor Ramos heard the commotion, came outside, shot and killed Valentin. Nestor Ramos called 911. I'm the one who shot him. He just jumped out with a knife, so I don't know why he came out with a knife. <laughs> We went to the brother's home. A man who answered had no answers and shooed us away. But according to deputies, Nestor Ramos told them he shot Valentin because Valentin was coming at his brother John with the knife raised. Inside sleeping during all of this, Valentin's daughter, who still doesn't know her father is dead, loved ones are working up the courage to tell her. They carried her out half asleep. I just thank God that she slept through it all. Investigators have taken witness statements. They've recovered the knife and the gun allegedly used in all of this. And they're piecing it all together to determine what, if any, criminal charges could be filed. In Deltona, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. The man who deputies say killed his neighbor, Nestor Ramos, was taken to the hospital for a medical episode. It's believed he was suffering anxiety related to the shooting.